Ah, where'd you guys come from? Spooky. Welcome back to the Let's Play, everybody. This is Dallas here. I think we're here on episode 484? 83. 84. Yeah, 484. <laughs> Why is that chest there? Just random chests all over my world. Leave me alone. I need a crafting table. There has to be one in here. Aha! You suck. <laughs> Make one of these. You can try. You can try. Ha! Uh oh. Yeah! I'm too powerful. Olaf, you home? Olaf. Olaf. No, Olaf, man. Well, I'll leave him a little present. I'm sure he'll appreciate this. So he doesn't have to eat whatever that is. Today, I want to build a very specific something. It's probably in the thumbnail. Some statues, but some very specific statues, I should say. I've actually always wanted to build these. They're going to be of that ancient civilization that, you know, has been in my world for a while, that owns the ancient library and these ruins down here. But I want to make an archaeological site on here where there's going to be some ancient statues of them and maybe make it look like I am studying them in a way. So I'm tasked with looking for the best spot to put it. Brief intermission of me being distracted. I am trying to come up with a very compact trash can design. I want it to be like this. Maybe I'm just not big brain enough for it, but this is how I want it. I want a lava cauldron and I want it to be covered just in case, you never know. A cat could jump in. <laughs> I want it to be like this so I can walk up and throw items in and walk away. But this is like the best version I can come up with right here. Just redstone to this, to this, and then to that. If you can come up with a better design, maybe show me on my Twitter. That'd be awesome. Better as in way more compact so I can fit it in my house. Because redstone signal has to hit this block to activate this trap door. So maybe this is the only way. And I don't want to use pistons either. Well, um, never mind. I... <laughs> Just with a little brain power and thinking, I got it this small. But the only problem is there's a little gap right there. That doesn't really matter. I just put redstone beneath that, redstone on this slab, and then the torches like that. And that works too. There's probably even a simpler way, but this is the best I could do. <laughs> Toolbox. Slime staff. Sorry, horse. Okay. I thought this was a thunderstorm. Really keep my eye out for one of those. So the location I decided to, okay, I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> the location I am going to build this in is actually the location I was originally going to build my house. So to give you perspective here, we are, here's the abandoned village right here. Here's my house over yonder. And we're doing it right here. I just made this road so we can pass this. This goes all the way to the museum. Now I'm getting rid of this. I was going to originally do them all facing this way, but I just came out with a better idea. One. Two, three, boom. What do you want? Oh, wait. Three, boom. Yes, it's necessary to count out loud. One, two. Okay, there we go. It looks like four tables right now, but the idea is, is that these statues meant something to these ancient people. And these ones are going to have four faces facing north, east, south, and west. And one of them is going to be a little bit different, and it's going to be pointing somewhere. And it's going to be this one, and it's pointing in this direction because that points towards the ruins. So my idea is, back in the day when these ancient people traversed these lands, they would come across these monuments and see which one is facing towards the ruins. And then they would go in that direction. So let's go ahead and build our first one here. Okay, so these are actually really simple to make. Um, they're going to be look almost like a mix between iron golems and villagers. Ooh, that looks cool. And I think I want to add arms like this. Put a little shoulder pad on them. Boom. How does that look? Oh, I like it. Oh, yeah. That looks pretty cool. We do not have mossy stone, so I'm going to mix in mossy stone brick to make it look like it was originally made out of stone brick. All right. I just went ahead and built all of them without making them aged yet. These look really cool. I might make a table in the center here. Maybe this is where they came to pray or sacrifice someone. And this is the one that's going to be holding the hand out, pointing you in the right direction. I might, I gotta figure out what I want to put on the hand there. All right, time to age him up a bit. I'm loving this build. Also, I'm gonna add some moss on the top. I think that adds a lot to it as well. 
Uh, I can't really notice the moss on the top, but it's there. Perfect. Ooh, these look cool. So I think in the center here, I'm going to create, like I said, some sort of circle. And just an ancient table in the center where maybe you sacrifice someone, <laughs> I guess. It works for me. Should I do more hanging root? Absolutely. All right. I love the way it turned out, honestly. This is exactly what I had pictured in mind, and I was able to bring it to life. I'm proud of myself. Bob's proud of me, too. He told me. So this is what I came up with. Uh, this is going to stay there, by the way. Um, this is like a little studying area. I can climb up on the scaffolding to clean it up with these shears and some storage. Maybe that's some oil to help clean it up. And I even have a case study here. You can read that if you want. Um, this is all for the story of my world. I love this kind of stuff. And in the center, I just put a table, an ancient table. Who knows what went on here? Maybe this is where everyone met to talk about stuff. These are really ancient people. They kept it old school. There's just one lantern hanging left. You know what? I wish you can actually have lanterns that you can blow the light out of, you know? That might be going way into detail, but I think I would like that. Um, and yeah, and this is that stone that is pointing to the crypts. I don't know what I want to put on here. I think I'm just going to leave it blank because in the book I said it looks like it used to hold a light source. So I'm going to pretend that that used to. What do you guys think? Cool. I'm going to do more of these around my world. I think that would be pretty cool. Maybe some that are like half buried in the ground and make it look like an excavation site. Where am I, you ask? Why does it matter? I'm in some water. Actually, I'm right here. We're going to build something right here on this little hill. Why this hill, you ask? Why does it matter? No, okay. We're uh, actually exactly, pretty much, yeah, exactly lined up with that south statue. It points in this direction. The chapel is right over here. If we can get a glimpse of it. We're behind it. Right there, there's a sunflower field. There's my house. And I want this to be the entrance, the normal or the old main entrance into the underground ruins. So I'm going to build a little something right here, make it look crumbled and old. And I haven't even decided if it, I'm actually going to make a passageway through there. I might make it crumbled and leave a sign saying new entrance made in the chapel or something. Might do something along those lines. Let's go ahead and build it and see what we can come up with. Okay, what do we got? Yeah. Yeah, I like it. And I was thinking I would add two of my serpent heads on each side. You know, that's down in the cave in the other entrance. So this will be, I guess, the butt. I mean, I, either one could be the main entrance. That's just the cave entrance. And this is like the outside entrance. Make it look like this used to be land right here, but it got flooded over time. Don't really know what else I want to add to it. I added some moss on the top. Actually... We're going to add a little bit more, but mainly in the place of that, yeah, and then do that. There we go. Now we've got some grass growing on top, too. What is that price? You are ridiculous, Bob. Uh -huh. And you know what's even more ridiculous? We're in an area I've passed many times back in 2014, yes. 2014. I remember walking this way many times. I've come over here for gathering trees. I made a path up there. And look at this. I don't get how this would work. There's copper here at the surface. How does that work? There's no chunk here of newly generated terrain. This is the terrain from 2014. You can even just tell by looking at it. So if any of you would know how on earth does copper appear in this old terrain like this. Nothing changed. This is still the same old terrain. That is just wild. I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm complaining because I'm freaked out about it, but I like it. So I'm just gonna have, oh yeah, this is, that's the final product, I guess. Looks kind of cool. Oh yeah, I still wanna do those serpent heads maybe, but I'm just gonna have this staircase going down. That's all I got so far. Let's see where I take it. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I ran out of black stone and deep slate, so I'm gonna have to Stop on this for this episode and work on it in between. But I just have the staircase going down to that level. And we're going to have a long hallway that goes down yonder. As well, I'm going to come back through and damage all of this. There's actually a puddle right here that is very close to the ceiling. So you take inspiration from this kind of stuff. I broke through it right there. And I'll probably clear out the water, but make this look like a cave-in. So I'll make a lot of natural light coming in in that area. 
I swear, the natural stuff in this world is where I get a lot of my inspiration from. So this will eventually lead to, I th my idea is a bigger corridor that will continue in that direction, but this corridor is gonna be pretty cool. It's gonna have serpents in it, just ancient stones. And uh, then I'm gonna eventually connect it to the chapel. And in the process, make the new donation room. Because we are all out of room in the chapel and I'm ready to expand it down below. Well, that's enough of that. Don't judge me, I love updating maps. Oh, ooh, I like how it kind of looks like an ancient ruin on the map too, I think that moss helps. Oh, I so badly wanna do more of these all over my world. You might also be wondering why I didn't make this out of blackstone to match the crypts. I feel like blackstone would look really out of place and plus they don't have mossy options, which I really think they should. They limit themselves so much in this game. I know that would be adding way too many block variations in the game, but still it doesn't make sense that Stone Brick gets a mossy variant, and Blackstone doesn't. It's like they're discriminating. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Same goes for Red Brick. I really want a mossy variation of that. Just, I don't know why they don't do it. Do it! Ah, uh, it's so far away I can't even see. My map is so big. There it is. Nice. Wow, you see that? The black? Those tiny black candles count as a block, I guess, so you can see the black in the center. <laughs> See, now I wanna do this in a lot more places, very random too, such as like maybe out here near our spawn, for example, even all the way out here, even in this area. I just want very random structures like this every so often. Where do we build that entrance at, right here? Ah, there it is. I know, the video is somewhat short, and I'm going to probably end it here, but uh, this just tends to happen. Um, I'm actually really comfortable with this time, in between, I'd say like 11 minutes to 15 minutes. I like my videos around that time. 20 minutes, I really have to push my luck and get it out in like two days. And I'm really comfortable with this everyday upload schedule I'm going to start doing, and maybe missing a random day here and there. Here and there, I'll try to fit in 20 minute episodes, maybe even go up to 30 minutes like I used to. But I'm just very comfortable with how it's going right now. I just get a lot of people asking if I can make my videos longer. We're gonna have to come back out here in the next few episodes to do something. It's been a little bit. Today's common question comes from Bo, Bo, Boo MC. Bo, Bo MC. What's your favorite mob and least favorite? Wow, that's a great question. I feel like I should have answered this type of question by now, but I haven't. I want that. Favorite mob, oh boy. Um, favorite mob would probably have to be... I think I'm gonna leave OG mobs out of this, like skeletons, creepers, and zombies. Um, because neither, none of them are my favorite, I'm just so tired of them. <laughs> but maybe my favorite is the Vindicator. That's the one with the axe, right? If not, then... Yeah, I think... It, I don't know why I'm forgetting. But yeah, the guy with the axe and the pillagers... What I think this game needs more of is close combat like that. I, I actually really don't like the pillagers with the crossbows because I already hate skeletons and I hate using a sword and just fighting and they constantly hitting you back. It's just probably the most annoying and like, in my opinion, laziest combat for mobs. But I love up close gritty combat like with the Vindicator with his ax and you with your sword and just the best survives. That's my favorite kind, and I want more mobs like that. I actually want a mob that carries a sword and maybe has full armor on, and he'll be a little bit tough to fight, you know? Maybe that fight will last like a, around 30 seconds. I want more like that. So as of right now, every time I see a Vindicator, I always just want to go fight him because it's just fun. Least favorite by mechanics alone, not by the style of it, is a skeleton. I love the idea of skeletons, but how they're, you know how they got updated maybe like four or five years ago to fire faster and be more accurate? It is probably the most annoying thing ever. Because I know they have to draw back their bow now, but they are insanely accurate for just a dead mob. And usually when you just peek around a corner like that, they don't have to draw up their bow, they just instantly smack you. I know I'm just complaining, but that is the most annoying thing ever. Skeletons are just a nuisance. <laughs> I don't know why. I never really liked them. That's going to be it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Also, these videos are a bit pre-recorded, so if you've donated to the channel already, just expect those to be in, like, the next episode. So, uh, yeah, thanks, everyone, for supporting my channel, and I'll see you in the next episode where we're going to work on some exciting stuff. See you there. Bye-bye.